Oh, don't you know it's Sprite? It's the most wonderful time of the year. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the T-Shirt Transfer Paper Power Half Hour Gala Christmas Edition. I'm Doug DeWitt, your host, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. And we got a good show for you today. We are going to go step by step on my technique to multi-layer hot stamp foil so that you can make a Christmas decoration that's definitely going to stand out this year because that's what everyone needs to do, stand out. Now, before we get started with showing you how to go through the process, here at the Transfer Paper Power Half Hour, we do have to pay the power bill. So, wanted to tell you about this great new book available called The Road to Sublimation Success, which was co-authored by our very own David Gross here at Condi Systems. This is basically decades of knowledge, uh, little nuggets that he's given you over the course of time through national business media, but now compiled into this handy guide to make you successful and profitable in your sublimation business. Mr. Gross is proud of it, Mrs. Gross is proud of it, and you'll be proud to have it in your collection. It's available as a hard copy on Amazon and as a digital download through Amazon Kindle. That is The Road to Sublimation Success, authored by our very own David Gross. Congratulations, David. Great book. All right, so now that we've paid the bills, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we got to cover is the design, because if I were to have, let's say, like a basic design like this that we want in a multi-layer, it'd be pretty easy to do with our hot stamping foil. We just lay two colors down and press them together at the same time because the image is separated. However, what if our image is integrated and we want to do a multicolor design? Well, at this point, we're going to have to layer, so we're going to show you the process. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to get my director, my monkey shot in space, Sprite Rose Wood. Sprite, get us over to the PDF. There we go. So, I got to have the mouse. All right, so here is my original design as a three color design. What we've got are our stars or ornaments in silver, our Tyrannosaurus Rexes in green, of course, and Christmas hats in red. Mary Guar. Now, what I did was decided to separate these three colors in Corel Draw so that I could lay them one over the other as I recreate the graphic to ultimately come up with my three layer design. Now, if we are going to use hot stamp foil and we're going to use forever low temp laser dark, basically all we need to do is print a composite black of these designs because essentially the foil will color them whatever design we ultimately need. So Sprite, let's jump over to the rip here and let me show these fine people how I set up my artwork in the forever transfer rip. So here we have my job loaded, and I've got it loaded as a four page PDF with the original and the three separations here. For demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and click on the T-Rexes as the graphic we want to work on. The nice thing about the forever transfer rip is we can load a multi-page PDF into the rip and then once it's loaded in, we could select individual colors. Now here, you'll notice that my design is in green, but ultimately what I wanna do is turn this design into composite black. So let me show you a nice feature in the rip. We're gonna go up here to select color corrections. We're gonna click on the add button. Now once it does that, it'll introduce a pop-up screen. Now, the first thing we want to do is select our source color. So we'll click on the radio button. We'll go over to the design and we'll click our source green. Now, one trick here, since we want to turn the entire design composite black, I'm going to increase what's called the accuracy. This is basically the same thing as increasing the tolerance but what I want to do is make sure that I capture all shades of green. Now at this point, when it comes to the destination color, 
I know that composite black is 100 cyan, 100 magenta, 100 yellow. Now, if you're using a four-color white toner printer, like the 711 WT or the 8432 WT, no need to go ahead and fill in at 100% black. Basically, the combination of these three colors will give us enough toner to do successful weeding. So let's go ahead and save that. And now, our graphic should be composite black. So at this point, I can move to the next step. Now again, since we're going to take the entire design and place hot stamp foil over it, there really is going to be no need for me to lay down any background white. The combination of cyan, magenta, and yellow at 100% should be more than enough toner that we need. So I just simply turn off spot color. We'll go next here. Make sure it's going to my 8432 WT. Make sure I've got it mirror or horizontal. And again, since we're foiling, there's no need to apply any kind of rasterization or mask. We can just simply use screening from printer, do the same steps for all three separations, and then click the magic print button. Back to me, Sprite. Let me find the mouse. There we go. I haven't found it. <laughs> so many monitors. Got it. We need more Mises. That's what we need. So now that I've done that, here are my three separations. My stars and ornaments. My Tyrannosaurus. And their accompanying Christmas hats. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on prepping this image. Now the first thing we're going to want to do naturally is set the B sheet in the adhesive from the B over to the A foil. So let me go over to my heat press here and let me go ahead and get it prepped. Got a sheet of protective paper down. And I'm going to lock my heat press into position to make sure that the bottom platen is warm. Now I want to grab my B sheets. I'll take out one here. So I've got my B sheet. Got my A-foil design. Once you give the heat press about 30 to 45 seconds to warm up, so to speak, especially on this bottom platen, neat trick, in case there's any moisture in the bee sheet that might affect the way the adhesive lays down, you may notice it if you have slightly old bee sheets that it has a tendency to curl a little bit. Well, we're just going to take our bee sheet, we're going to put it on the hot platen, and the hot platen will basically make it go flat. When it goes flat, that means the moisture is driven out of the bee sheet and we should get a better result. At this point, I'll go ahead and put the two sheets together. Cover it with another protective sheet and press them together for two minutes at a medium pressure. Now I'm using my handy dandy Geo Knight DK20S heat press. I've got my temperature set at about 300 degrees. And the reason is, is because I'm also applying foil. We don't want to hit foil too hot because basically it'll shrink up the foil and it'll cause it to wrinkle. And another thing is, as far as applying the target design, which is what the forever low temp will be, I don't necessarily need to set it right away. I just want to use just enough time and just enough temperature to basically set so that I can keep layering without sticking. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. But since that's heating up, going to need a t-shirt to decorate. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a Hanes Beefy T 100% cotton. And we're going to see if we could replicate this shirt right here. So I'm going to set this shirt aside as my benchmark test. We're going with our blank shirt here. 
And to save a little time, I went ahead and did some separations. I'm going to put the ornaments down first because that's my outside target. Then I'm going to lay down the T-Rexes in the middle of it. Come over the top with the Christmas hats and the same. Now, basically, I'm going to have to eyeball align these, but if we do it in the right steps, in the right way, it should work out just fine. Okay, we're almost done setting our adhesive from the B sheet to the A foil, and I'm doing this as a demonstration so everyone can follow along, but basically we would do this for all three transfers. Timer's up. Swing out the press. Remove the protective paper. Peeling low along the angle so we don't nip and remove design where we don't want to. Keeping the A-foil against the warm bottom platen to, heat, to help the peel process. Low, slow peel just like that, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, if you've done the process correct, you may not be able to see it, so to speak. At least camera may not be able to represent it. But you should be, you basically see a perfect indention of your original design in the B sheet. Sprite wants me to hold it up here so that you guys can see it. There we go. All right, we're cooking now. So let's go ahead and make our shirt. I'm going to take my Hanes Beefy Tea. Going to line it up on the platen. And the one thing I want to do is stretch the shirt over the platen as best I can to keep the material tight. It will help with the alignment. And I want to take my sticky lint roller and get any loose filament or contaminants off my Christmas shirt. Okay. I'm gonna take a sheet of protective paper and I'm gonna do about a five to seven second pre-press. Don't even really have to lock the press in, just applying contact pressure. What I'm really trying to do is make sure that my surface area doesn't have any moisture to it. Also it gives us a nice smooth iron out area. So let's go ahead and lay down our first layer. Give it the old eyeball alignment, so to speak. Cover with my protective sheet. Now here's the trick. When it comes to these layers, we are only going to hit them for 10 seconds at a time. So we're locking the press in, same temperature, same pressure. But remember, we're only going 10 seconds to apply our target design. I'm going to take the shirt off, lay it on the table so that we can see. And to save a little time, I'm going to use a piece of aluminum to cool this. Just so happens to be our new Chromalux textured aluminum, which I think is pretty cool. And so we'll use the aluminum piece to rapidly cool the sheet. Like so. And now we should be able to roll off our target design pretty quick. So now that I have my target down, I want to go ahead and apply my foil. So I've got three different foils that I'm using here. I've got the glitter red, which is part number ROKP73. I've got the glitter silver, which is part number S0KP73. And for the T-Rexes, the Kiwi glitter, which is NOKP73. Crikey. All right. So let me go ahead and get this first layer prepped. In the interest of saving time, I'm just going to roll out a whole sheet. 
because after all, this is company money and we're testing, right? Now, if you wanted to save on hot stamp foil, depending on the graphic, you could cut little strips, which is basically what I did the other day during testing, to save on your hot stamp foil. But like I said, we're more concerned with speed here. So let's go ahead, put our t-shirt back on. Let's take our sheet of hot stamp foil. Carefully lay it over the design. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two sheets of copy paper to help keep that in place. But what I'm also going to use as a protector is the new Forever Gloss Finishing Paper. Woohoo! Just got this in. It uh, comes in an 11 by 16 size, and what it is going to do is to make sure that our hot stamp foil stays shiny. But like I said, right now I'm just using it as protective paper to weigh down that hot stamp foil because I want to make sure I've got good contact over that wide area. Now same temperature, same pressure, 10 seconds. So basically we're going in 10 second stages until we get it all the way constructed. Then at that point, we'll lay the gloss finishing directly over it and we'll do a finishing final press. All right. So let's take off the protective paper. Let's remove the new gloss finishing sheet. I'm gonna get my t-shirt over on the table. Use a piece of aluminum to rapidly cool. This should be about 10 seconds right here. Okay. Gently peel away the foil and look, silver bells on our shirt. So now let's get the second step. Let's get the T-Rexes in there. Woo, we're cooking now. Go ahead and lay the design back on. Again, make sure that we are flat as we can be. I will go ahead and take my pre-weeded T-Rex design, line it up, looking good. Okay. I'm going to use the gloss finishing sheet to cover any foil that might already be exposed. Let's lay our protective paper over. And again, I'm going 300 degrees Fahrenheit, about a four bar pressure on my George Knight DK20S, 10 seconds at a time. There we go. All right, Sprite, so far it seems to be working pretty well. My bells are still shiny. Let's take the heat out. Again, this is just a piece of aluminum, not any piece of aluminum, but Chromalux textured aluminum. It's new, it's cool, and it also does the cooling job. Okay. Now, what should happen, and it is 
Now I've got the second part of my design down without upsetting the first layer. And the reason that's able to work is because of the time, using only 10 seconds to apply. All right, so again, let's make sure our shirt is as flat and as stretched as we can get it on the press. Let's go ahead and get the kiwi. Cut off some kiwi glitter hot stamp foil. Do up our T-Rexes. I know some of you may be thinking, what do T-Rexes and Christmas have to do with one another? Well, technically speaking, absolutely nothing. But here at the Creative Minds of Condi Systems, we like to dream big. All right, so I've got a strip, hopefully big enough to cover all of my dinosaurs. Again, I'm gonna use the gloss finishing sheet to help protect the design that might be exposed and to help weigh down on top of that hot stamp foil to make sure it sticks throughout. A couple of more protective sheets, closing the press, 300 degrees, four bars pressure, again, 10 seconds. Boy, the power must really be on here, Sprite, especially the temperature. Woo! All right. Let's remove our protective sheets. Now, the heat in here could just be due to the DK20S, could be due to the fact that I'm wearing four layers of clothes. Could be due to the fact that this is Mobile, Alabama, and the weather changes every 15 minutes. I think okay. it's just how hot your shirts are, Doug. Oh, well, that's very sweet of you to say, Sprite. Sprite is definitely in the Christmas spirit, the spirit of giving, because she doesn't give compliments that often. No, all right, that was a joke, Sprite. You know I love you. All right, cooled it down. Again, we should only have sticking on our T-Rexes that are now in kiwi green glitter. Oh, that's so cool. Actually, it's rather hot. <laughs> yes, Gala Christmas Show. Gotta love it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, two layers down, one more to go. Let me go ahead and take my Christmas hats and my saying, Merry Guar, because Guar means Christmas and dinosaur. All right. And again, I'm just going to eyeball align it here. Try to remember where I positioned everything. That looks good enough. Let's go ahead and use our gloss finishing sheets to protect any exposed graphic. Cover sheets. And again, 10 second press time. So everything's going 10 seconds at a time until we are finished with the design and then it's the 30 second finishing press. All right. I'm going to put the shirt back on the table so that everybody can see what's happening here. Go ahead and lay down. Borrow Big Mike's apron for a second. All right. Let's do our last peel. There we go. And now we are time for we're now it's time for our last color, which is going to be the glitter red. And the way it should work, if we only press for 10 seconds, the glitter red is only going to stick to the exposed low temp laser dark. Now, 
just as reference, could you possibly do the same thing with the sublimation to cotton products? Well, to be honest with you, I don't know. We'll probably have to test that out at some point here on the transfer paper power half hour. Might bring in a special guest, see if we can get that knocked out. But let's take our sheet of red, cover, make sure we get our red as flat as we can. Use the gloss finishing sheets, which the one thing I do like about these sheets, they have a little bit of weight to them, which in the case of holding down and protecting hot stamp foil is a good thing. All right. Press our third layer for 10 seconds. That should do it. Remove the protective paper. Remove the gloss finishing sheets. We'll lay it on the table so everyone can see. Cool with our piece of metal. Now, if we had a drum machine, this is where I would be saying drum roll. This is so exciting. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead, peel off our last layer. <laughs> yes, success, ladies and gentlemen. Sprite, I'm gonna hold it up to the main camera so that everybody can get a good look at the silver, green, and red Mary Guar Christmas tree t-shirt. Let's do our last step to it. We want to set all these layers of vinyl. Well, actually not vinyl, hot stamp foil. But we wanna keep them shiny. So we'll do that by using the gloss finishing sheet. Now you'll notice there's a paper side and there's a shiny sticky side. We want the shiny sticky side down against the image. That's what's going to help keep it glossy. We'll go ahead and use both sheets so we can cover the entire platen area. A couple of sheets of protective paper. And now that we have all colors applied, we can go ahead and press for 30 seconds. Now, another thing about this process is you could incorporate this process with a colored low temp design and adding foil over the top. If I were to have used neon green Flex Soft for the T-Rexes, the nice thing about the foil is the foil does not stick to Flex Soft. So I don't have to worry about possibly cross contaminating my foil, so to speak. 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and remove here. And again, just use piece of metal, piece of aluminum. Give it a little cool. Oh, it's bright and shiny Sprite. It really looks good. So there is our technique for multi-decoration with hot stamp foil. Uh, done with Forever Low Temp Laser Dark and our Oki White Toner Printers. So, the cool thing about this shirt is you hang it up in your shop, it's going to get you noticed, it's definitely going to get you top dollar, and it always adds a little bling and a little holiday cheer to the season. 
So thank you so much for tuning in to this presentation. Just as a note, the T-shirt transfer paper power half hour will be taking a break for the holidays, but we will be back with our new season starting on Tuesday, January 5th, 3.30 p.m., so make sure you mark your calendar. You're not going to want to miss that one because we'll probably end up doing some more crazy kooky stuff anyway. Um, but until then, I want everyone out there to have a happy and safe holiday season. Merry Christmas, everyone. My name is Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. That's the end of the T-shirt transfer paper power half hour. Our time's up, but we thank you for